Hi Cancer, welcome to your <clears throat> 2019 advanced forecast. Now I need to uh, upload this or record this in advance because I'll be traveling from November to December, okay? Let's take a look, Cancer. Oh, in January. Hearing from a fire sign. Hmm. Death and a new beginning. Walking away from a situation. Although there will be some three things that you have to leave behind or that you have to lose or you need to sacrifice in order for you to move and create an, uh, create an opportunity for yourself. We'll be, at, um, we'll be getting more um, clarifications later on, okay? Now... When it comes to your work... There is something, more likely a transition, that you're going to be going through. Okay, like an old chapter that you're going to be leaving behind. And the new chapter that you're about to face and uh, embrace. Okay, something that you need to initiate and um, catapult as well. Well, leaving something behind. Finding the courage. Oh, and you're also going to be receiving very good news during this month, especially if you're looking for a job or if you are looking for a, um, like, a opportunity or waiting for a um, contract, news, approval, agreement, acceptance. Mm, this is going to be a very good month. We'll be... Um, we will be making this as quick as possible, okay? Because the first few videos, all they took like like three hours. Is I was like, oh my god, it's really long. So I'll just make this as quick as possible. And if you want to have your own um, complete annual forecast, just go and visit me at my website. Go to the tarot card reading. Uh, go sorry, tarot card reading services and choose the um, the right reading for you there someone around you who has some smoking problems or habits need to be well need to you know need to stop or they need to have an alternative way of their smoking because they will have some problems with their stomach because of excessive smoking. Now, January, okay? You'll be hearing from a fire sign person. More likely this is a um, an authority figure, okay? Or, or like a boss, especially if you're looking for a job or if you just applied for a job. Definitely you will be offered something. More likely... A very lucrative offer that I feel like will take you to financial stability because there is a brand new beginning that you're about to embrace and you're about to, you know, about to start. It's like there is a new chapter of your life that will be opening and, a, and an old chapter that you're going to be leaving behind, closing the doors, closing the pages. And it's like you're ready to walk away, you know, although there are some three things. Okay, there are some three things that you need to leave behind, you need to walk away from, and you need to uh, set aside for a little while. I'm not saying that you have to discard this altogether or that you need to, you know, really discard it um, totally. But I feel like for you to move up, for you to go, and for you to move on, you need to set aside all this personal stuff, personal issues, and personal things. Okay, and this is something that you have been waiting for because right in the middle of the month, you will be signing a new contract. There is an employment contract or like a, an offer letter or like an agreement that you're going to be, you know, that you're going to be um, signing. And this is also something that you've been anticipating to come and you're ready. Now, the problem here is you will have a hard time leaving those three things behind because it's like... You don't even know what's going to happen next, but you have to do it. You know, it's like you got to do what you got to do. So you need to set aside your emotions for a little while and you know, okay, you know, it's all for the best. You know that th this is something that you really needed to do and that you need to 
you know, have the courage and uh, leave the emotions behind. All right. You need to put your walls up because there are some people who's been relying on you and there are some things that you still need to obtain that if you're not going to do this, you're not going to. You know, you're not going to accomplish that. Now, changes are coming, but there is somebody from your family member. Someone who is more likely a water sign who will be sabotaging your plans, your intentions, your opportunities. And I feel like this is somebody who needs to leave the house or move into the house or somebody who lives with you. Okay. But this is someone that you're that you used to be with or that you're with or that you're you know or it could be that these are you know this is also one of the people that you have to leave behind or this is one of the things that you need to sacrifice because someone will have to leave or there will be some changes into your home environment and this person that i feel like who wants to sabotage you could be that they don't want you to leave okay because they are also afraid what's going to happen next. It's, it's it's really, you know, it's really hard to be in a long distance relationship or to be in a, in a long distance thing with somebody. Now, aside from this, there's some um, like a, like an air sign person, like an air sign man who will be bringing you some news. Uh, more likely just to, you know, keep you, you know, keep you preoccupied for a little while. And I feel like this is someone who is more likely an old relative from the past. Or like a relative that you're not really that close. And there are some issues from the past that this person will be bringing on the table. Okay, so... This is actually more like a distraction. I don't feel like you should give much more importance to this person. So just move on and, uh, you know, just tell them, okay, you know, if uh, if really that's important, then just send it to me through um, logistics or parcel or something like that. It's not really necessary for you to stay behind because you cannot miss this work opportunity, okay? That's going to be bringing you more financial windfall and financial opportunity, all right now when it comes to your work again a transition that you're going to be overcoming and that you're going to be going through okay something that you also need to learn because there is a lesson that this situation that you're about to leave behind will be bringing you some lessons to learn and some things you know to embrace and explore and apply in your present and future life and i feel like even though before you know for the past few weeks days and months that you've been struggling you will persevere and there is there will be a reason for you to celebrate because finally whatever that you are supposed to to have whatever that you're destined to be it will be falling into place because i feel like for the past few months there has been a lot of blockages and there you've you've gone through some deep depression confusion and it's like you're all over the place because you are handling too many things at once Okay, and now you're ready to begin a new chapter. You're ready to say goodbye to that, you know, um, burdens that you have been that you've uh, faced before, and now you're about to open up. You're about to open up a new door of um, new life as well, especially for those newly divorced um, cancers. Okay, there is a brand new beginning that is bright, colorful, and even more breezy. Okay, if you have been breathing toxicity for the past few months or years, then this time you're going to be breathing rainbow. Well, minus the candies, but uh, at least this is a brand new life and a brand new beginning. All right. Now, for those cancers who's, um, who's with someone and um, especially if you're seeing two people both at the same time, you will have a hard time you know like uh, taming both of them because because they were going to be requiring a lot of your time a lot of your attention passion you know and then you would just suddenly feel like what did i get myself into you know uh especially if 
you know, if you're already married. The other person, especially if you're also conniving with another water sign, then it's time for you to make a choice. For those, okay, for those who is actually not really in an illicit relationship, I feel like there is somebody from the past who will be re-emerging or who will be coming into your life unexpectedly, which is another water sign. And uh, while you're having some problems with your present uh, present situation or present relationship, you know, this is not really the answer, but I feel like you will start thinking more and more and more and more about this person from the past and there will be a diversion. Instead of you resolving your problems and instead of you resolving your your current marital situation, you will be delving into a temptation, which is, I feel like this will become more of a, well, more than an emotional thing, okay? Because I feel like you still have feelings for this person. Now, here, someone around you who is a you know who's a chain smoker a big smoker will have some problems with their diet and with the with their palate plus with their in intestines or ulcer okay which is you will also be affected because you will be um it's like you will have some problems getting along with them because of their you know because of their breath and you're the one who's going to be volunteering to take them to the doctor, okay? Now, you, on the other hand, every time that you smell this, you will also have some problems with your upset stomach and, you know, nausea. And um, you will also have some frequent migraines or headaches, okay? Aside from that, be careful with wild animals. You know, some cancer women will also find out that they are pregnant during this month. And uh, water therapy plus dermatological problems, some skin acne, um, allergies, rashes, born by the wind. Um, you will be getting this by traveling. You also need to meditate because you need to breathe out some of your depressions and frustrations in life. You also need to eat because you're not really eating on time. Plus, you need to check out your eyesight because you are not really... Sometimes... You know, your your eyes are blurry, over, overly blurry. Sometimes your eyes are like you can see some stars or it's, you know, it's shaking right or left. Okay. Um, involuntarily. And I feel like be careful with some kidney stones. Okay. Even if you don't like salty food. Now let's take a look at singles. You know, single cancer. What's going to be in it for you this January? I'm actually um, rushing all of this, you know, all the things that I need to do and to finish because I am flying or I will be traveling in a few days. So, by the time that this has been uploaded, I'm already traveling or I've already reached out my other destination. So. Mm. Cancer, you will be a single cancer, okay? You will be meeting somebody while you are traveling. Actually, two. One older, one younger. But I feel like the older is somebody that you're going to be cutting off, you know? Um, Because this is already married, while the other one is very, you know... It's like they're very fresh and they think that they, you, can, you know, they can sweep you off your feet. And uh, they're very good looking, you know. Body is really hot as well. But uh, eh, not really your type. Now this other person who is already, is more likely already married. 
you want to cut this person off but then there is going to be a chance or there is going to be an opportunity or a reason for the two of you to work together again and in fact that you're going to be seeing each other while you are traveling and it so happens that this person will be traveling without the wife or without the person that they're with so i feel like you're gonna have your own time again now this is more likely a very short-lived relationship but there's there is a lesson that you have to learn from this you need to love again even though it's in a wrong form even though this is you know it's in a wrong way but i feel like it's been a long time you know since you've really loved somebody unconditionally and truly you've been hurt in the past and um every time that you'll be every time that you meet someone you always tar them with the same brush so it's time for you to meet somebody who's very irresistible and uh it's so difficult not to love or fall in love because they are very you know mm -mm -mm. so you're gonna have what you want not really a relationship but more likely this is just a very short-lived affair finances will also be you know finances seems good and active plus somebody from the past or an opportunity from the past will also be chiming in okay most of the time most of the cancers will also be meeting somebody from the past which is an earth sign and this is someone that you regard as a your, you know as a soulmate or twin flame all right let's take a look at your february forecast Hmm. Mm. February for you looks very good financially. Ooh, wow. Look at the last card. Well, it's just that, well, in the month of February. This person from the past, which is more likely an earth sign, somebody who, whom you've already left behind, walked away from, you know, I feel like this is somebody who's going to try once again, but then you're just going to cut this person off. And then, this is somebody that you actually regard as your soulmate. Or someone who knows you so well that you've had a very deep relationship in the past. This is someone who knows you very well. Someone that you run to every time that you needed some help. And somebody who used to provide for you. But unfortunately, things have, you know, become different. As you have chosen to go in your own separate ways. And even though you have tried to give this person another chance. 
in your life it did not really work out anymore it just proves that you still have some feelings for this person but it's like the two of you cannot really you know get your bitterness and anger and pain out of your progress and uh, you just keep on bringing it up now this person will somehow show you that they are still willing to do whatever it takes you know for them to go back into your life but then you feel like nope I can't move on because of you because you're always there now someone will be moving in and out of the house or you will be relocating during this month okay and again somebody from the past will be re-emerging and will be knocking on your door again but then you feel like you know what even though i'm so lonely right now or even though i'm not really you know i can't really choose the right one for me there's no way you have tried to cut off this person in the past because of some you know some family or marital problems and you've tried to build your walls up but then it was really hard for you you know you've already eaten up a lot of your words and even your pride You've tried to divorce, separate it, get back together, separate it again, get back together, and so on and so forth. And you're sorry, you know, it's like you're starting to get so tired of the cycle and the, of the pattern that the two of you are just, you know, repeating. You don't want to admit that it was your mistake. The other person doesn't want to admit that they, it's their mistake. So as much as you want to start all over again, as much as you want to reignite the passion, it's going to be really hard for you now especially now that you're going to be moving away or that you are moving to a new location or a new you know new um new ground you feel like you can be free and you can have a choice of your own and i feel like um yeah i feel like um you will be you will try to cut this person off again and try to build your walls up and keep your reservations although there will still be some communications because especially if you have a child together there are some connections so there are some things that you just couldn't really cut off because of some obligations but i feel like this person is not going to stop until that they are into your life again you gotta admit that you still have feelings for this person anyway now, when it comes to your finances, hmm, things are looking good because whatever it is that you're going to be starting again, even though it's going to be a challenge and difficult task from the beginning, you will slowly grasp on the responsibilities, your environment obligations, and you will have a very successful new beginning. You just need to avoid being overly close and sharing too much with your colleagues and you just need to work at your own pace and concentrate in making money and creating your finances more established because you will definitely and you will be hammering it okay now when it comes to your sex life most of the time you'll be doing it yourself and you will be recalling those times that you got rejected by your partner so instead of asking your partner that you know let's do it yeah might as well you know just do it yourself and um you are sl slowly thinking or you're slowly um you know this is for the cancer is already with somebody okay you and you are slowly thinking that um your partner is kind of seeing someone because it's been a while okay you've tried to woo you've tried to re reignite the passion doing different positions and scores and uh, tried to serenade each other and then nothing it's like you don't even know what to do anymore because it seems like your partner is being distracted by another person or another energy now when it comes to your health be careful with parasites you also need to get back into shape by releasing some of your toxins and bad energies and um i feel like you also need to apply some old adage methods when it comes to your vanity and uh, getting back into shape again keep your focus vertigo as well um shoulder blade pain veins that are clogged and uh pain on your side which will be affecting your bladder your kidney your liver and pelvis 
And still you need to eat up a little more because you've been dieting and you're not really or you're not really you don't really have that much appetite. Again, your eyes that you need to check. I also feel like you need to check out your blood. Because I feel like there's something to do with the high blood or low blood pressure. And uh, you also need to declutter and free up some space for you to breathe. Again, kidney stones, be very careful. Take care of your bones and your chest or breast. And right after that, you are on the path to recovery. Let's take a look at your singles forecast for this month of February. The love month. Cancer, you have to learn how to forgive, you know? I mean, you love being in long relationships, but, you know, sometimes the reason why relationships don't really work out is because it's not just because of one person. It takes one to react. Always remember that. Alright, let's take a look. The heartache that you have gone through in the past will finally be giving you a new light, new hope, new beginning, new life. And even though you have gone through some severe heartaches and depressions, doesn't mean that you should expect that all people who's going to be coming into your life are actually one and the same. Now there is a door to happiness that you're going to be opening up. You just need to be ready, okay? But you just need to be a little bit careful with your tongue. You know, I mean, give people a chance to be a part of your life and to be a part of your circle instead of isolating yourself and protecting yourself because you're so afraid of taking advantage or being taken advantage by other people or by those who is just after whatever they can see from you or whatever they want from you. Love is definitely coming your way. But it's uh, this person lives in another place or you will be traveling in another place. You will be falling in love with each other, but it's not going to be an easy relationship or instant relationship. Both of you will be resisting each other and both of you will be in denial of your feelings towards each other. But this is something that is very interesting because you cannot seem to get each other out of your heads, even though you will be hating each other to the core. Okay, now... You will also be invited to a party or to a gathering by a friend. And I feel like this person will also be attending the same and will be coming to that same occasion. Whereas you will just decide to walk away. But this person will be stopping you. And there is, you know, finally, the two of you will be opening up towards your fears by private conversations. Okay. So don't be afraid and don't push people away just because that you've been hurt in the past. It, you know, even though it doesn't really last, it's still worth having and it's still worth feeling it, you know? Let's take a look at your month of March. Success coming your way. Ooh, betrayal by a water sign right in the middle of the month of March. Uh, 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 uh.
Hmm. You're going to you're going to be going through a big transition again. I feel like your company will be sending you off to a um I feel like the company was sending you off to a uh, travel or a seminar or a training. And you, this is the time where you will be, for singles especially, you're going to be meeting somebody who is another water sign. Now, there will be success that's going to be coming your way in the month of uh, March, first week. And I feel like you are just trying to be strong, okay? To prove that you are really worthy of the position and you really deserve this, um, this brand new beginning. And while you're enjoying your new life and new, your new chapter, like you're wishing for things to become okay and uh, for you to excel. Someone who's a water sign, okay? Someone that you used to be married or somebody you used to be with or someone who used to live with you will try to do something, okay? More likely to distract you, um, which is a big betrayal. And I feel like this person will likely gonna get away from whatever they're gonna do but then you are gonna deal with them once you're already back to your hometown or to your to where you used to live okay uh, you're wishing for things not to be this way but then you know somewhere somehow and this is already expected that this person will be doing anything and everything okay for you to get distracted and for you to veer away from your goals and uh, accomplishing your your uh, targets and ambitions as well work will actually become more hectic and will be taking a lot of your time and then you will be talking to somebody whom you are mm, I feel like this is more like they're a, a relative, not really in a relationship with. And um, you will be asking this person, this fire sign woman, to hide something away for this water sign not to create any distraction anymore. It is to give you peace of mind. And I feel like as much as you want to go back or as much as you want to travel during this time it's going to be very hard for you because um you're going to be very busy and preoccupied okay now when it comes to your finances you're going to have a hard time completing the task that you are supposed to hand over right before your travel because you will have some problems with your health okay transitional phase is also there especially for those who's going through a divorce or who just got into a divorce because you will be a little bit preoccupied with your personal stuff and personal baggages but then you don't want to get this in the in the way middle of the month you will have a hard time concentrating because there will be some uh personal phone calls that you're going to be receiving from a family member but then you will be you will try and re remain calm and strong until that you're ready to deal with all of that, okay? And the travel international is also at par. Now, when it comes to your sex life, especially for those who's already partnered or, or already with somebody, now you will be making love with someone who is very close to you and someone who's also a redhead. And I feel like this person is also going through a heartbreak. That's why they are, you know, don't really put your hopes up too much. Because most likely that you're going to end up as their rebound. Okay. Now, this is for singles or for this, um, for those who is trying to get out of a relationship. Hmm. Not really partner, but actually you're seeing someone casually. 
Now, for those who's already married or already with someone or already in a relationship, you will try to reignite your passion. And most of the time that you will be doing it outside, you'll you will have a different adventure. Okay, just to reignite your passion, and you will try once again to make your relationship work. However, jealousy will be uh, getting in the way, and I feel like you will also be preoccupied by this person from the past. However, you will try to, you know, retain. Um, concentrated in your new beginnings and working out in your relationship and you will try to you know look away from the temptation although at the end of the month there will be a big confrontation that's going to come and that's going to happen because your partner will be seeing something on your phone that will cause them to confront you and become very aggressive now when it comes to your health you just need to balance your diet and you need to drink a lot of water again you need to flush away those toxins and uh, kidney stones um, take care of your bones um, might as well just consult with the doctor what's what's best for your bone and bone marrow you also need to get into something organic and uh, something fresh instead of eating always instant Instead of always, uh, yeah, instead of opting for something instant or microwavable as well. Also, check your blood pressure, low blood or high blood, and uh, your eyesight as well. Hmm, looks like you are, for the past three months that I've been, well, sorry, January, Feb, and March, seems like your eyes need some focus and you really need some sort of an exercise okay hmm. and you also need to leave a uh, like a lifestyle behind um you also need to veer away from smoking or just uh, offer some alternative because your intestine is slowly becoming more and more affected plus aside from that you will start thinking of uh, other methods of getting healed and getting well which is the good news is you will get well and you will slowly recover let's take a look singles Alright, singles, let's take a look. Mm, something that you have been waiting for. A new beginning. You will be meeting a fire sign while you are traveling, which will turn out to be a nightmare. And there is also a promotion, a job opportunity, or more likely a project that will be ending up in a success. And this is going to be the reason why you'll be very happy and lonely at the same time because, yeah, you're very... You're slowly becoming more and more successful, but who are you going to be offering it to? Okay. Now, financial stability is already there, looking good up ahead of you. But then when it comes to your sex life and to your love life, be very careful. If you don't want to get entangled with somebody who is a narcissist or with someone who is not really into the relationship, then don't commit into any relationship. Have sex, have fun, you know, hang around. It's fine. But then getting into a serious relationship, especially moving in together, that is going to be the start of your downfall and nightmare. Okay, Be very careful with whom you're going to be choosing or whom you're going to be sleeping or committing this month. Okay, Red flag signs will also be popping up, especially if you're seeing someone who's an air sign and into ball play or into sports. If they... If they've been creating a lot of excuses and if they've been creating a lot of alibis not to see you or not to call you or not to text you back, then consider that as a red flag that they are really doing something or that they are not really interested. So you need to cut them off, okay? If they are really interested in you, they're the one who's going to be catching up on you, all right? Now, water signs, this 
people mostly that you're going to be meeting this month will be will still have some hang-ups from their past and they will have some excess baggages so might as well not get involved or not get um not engage into their you know drama because this is just another toxic drama and uh their baggage is their own baggage you don't really have to carry their baggages okay you don't really need to play the hero so let's take a look at your april monthly forecast You know, despite of the success that you are already enjoying and indulging, it seems like it's really inevitable for you to, you know, it's really inevitable for you to have the peace of mind. Because some people will really do something while you're away or while you are far from them. And there is already a disaster that's already forming with the place or to the people that you have left behind and the, this is also the reason why you're having a hard time concentrating in your work plus you will be reaching out to an earth time person but to no avail i feel like there will be some changes or there will be some um it's like you'll be reaching out for help okay but i feel like this person is not going to be available at the time that you want them to um come to you also there will be some people who's going to be sending or the, who, that, who, that will be sent to you to help you but make sure that you will be grateful enough. Otherwise, you will be wasting the good chance that the, the universe will be giving to you. And it will be exchanged by bad karma. Alright. Again, somebody from the past who will be betraying you. And I feel like this is because you did not really prepare it enough. Now, you have tried to do something to, you know... For this to be curbed down and for you not to get distracted from your work. But then, unfortunately, I feel like this is, you know, this water sign will be taking advantage of. Because you are really concentrating in your new beginning. And this person won't really let you succeed or won't really let you um, gain confidence, gain money, and gain a good life again. So once and for all, you really have to deal with this person once and for all. Sex life for those cancers who's already with somebody or who's already married, you will discover that your partner is having an affair. Okay. Now, you need to be very careful with your choice, with your decisions, and do not make a decision when you are emotional or when you are hurt, when you're sad, or when you're upset. Make sure that you're going to be making a decision with your clear mind. Now... There will be a big transition, or not really transition, but there will be some changes, a, term, a turn of events that for the past few months that you are really like enjoying your life, you're very happy, finally you're accomplishing a lot of things, you're back on track, and you are concentrating in your own growth, financial stability, and stuff like that, and you're even preparing to buy a new house at this point, or even get a new house or to get a mortgage, but... This water sign that is from your past will really do anything and everything to sabotage you and to create a lot of nuisance just to 
take your attention away from your away from your um you know current task and they're away from your success this person is already losing out in their you know in whatever it is in their business career money finances or whatever it is because they're you know their karma is slowly eating them up now they want to express the same thing to you okay now i feel like you will be reaching out to an earth sign Okay, something that you should have done a few months before or a few months ago, but you did not really act it out on time. And now that you want this person's help, which is an earth sign woman, but this person will be telling you that, nope, I can't be available at that point. Or I can't be that, you know, it's like this person is not that indispensable. So they're going to say that uh, we have to schedule this or, you know, you have to do this, we have to do that, which is... You're going to be very sad, okay? I also feel like this person have helped you a lot in the past, but you have discarded their presence because you feel like they are not the one who's responsible for the success of your life, but it's you. But actually, you know, without the help of other people, without the, the help of your guides and universe, it won't be happening. Now... But then I feel like there is something that you're going to be working out, which is I feel like in the month of June, this is where things, even you coming back to your hometown or to your home country or to your home, to your home, okay, or to your parents, this is where you're going to be making everything through. And this is where you're going to be, you know, uh, successful in rearranging something to really put your foot down to this water sign who's been trampling on your dignity and who's been creating a lot of nuisance just to get your attention now when it comes to your work somebody from the past you know and this is something that you haven't really learned as well now somebody from the past who will be creating a lot of uh, problems a lot of blockages delays and you know would even put you in a bad limelight with your boss will be distracting you and i feel like your life this month will also be a little bit shaky and will also be a little bit um you know ungrounded you will also be a little bit disoriented you will have a hard time concentrating and you will have a hard time sleeping because there are a lot of things that's been happening all at the same time whereas you thought that things will become even more better and you know proper but in the at the end of this month things will start moving at your own pace and i feel like this is the time where you will be thinking of traveling now, for those cancers who's already married or already with somebody or already in a relationship, you will be discovering your partner's affair or you will be discovering your partner's cheating or will be catching them. Okay, that's even worse. And without any confrontations or without any explanations, this person will just walk away from your life without even, you know, saying I'm sorry or without even any words. And I feel like this is the reason why you're going to be opting for a revenge. Or we'll try to get back at them. Not by cheating back. But I feel like there will be some legal stuff. That you will be preparing. And that you will be lunging into. Now when it comes to your health. Things are starting to look good. In fact that you are starting to drink more supplements. And more organic stuff. Your eyes is the only thing that's left. That you have to take care of. I feel like the immune system is slowly recovering. You will also fight your fear of heights water therapy or swimming therapy plus you need to have some more sleep because you're overly stressed now let's take a look at your singles forecast Be very careful, single cancers, you know, this month to get pregnant or to impregnate somebody that you don't want to end up with. 
Okay, otherwise it's gonna be more like the a shotgun relationship. Not really a shotgun wedding, but it seems like this person will be forcing you to live with them because they are pregnant. Now, make sure that it's also yours, okay, for men. Now, you will be harvesting the uh, the fruits of your labor. The it's like there is an investment that you have made in the past, and this is the time where you will be harvesting. But I feel like instead of you were walking away from this, you will be reinvesting it again, and then there will be some downturns or there will be some hurl that you're not really gonna see up ahead of you, and this is. I feel like you need to start all over again. So, like for example, if you're already, if you feel like your stocks are already big and you know stuff like that, you can either withdraw or just retain it there instead of trading or reinvesting it because this is not really the right time for you to reinvest it. Okay, travel will also be happening at the last two weeks of this month. Success will also be coming your way when it comes to your work. You you will be overly stressed and uh, over fatigue. You need to have some more rest. When it, but when it comes to your, you know, when it comes to your um, love life and sex life, be very careful with the people that you're gonna be having sex with, especially if you're not really in a real relationship or committed relationship, or if this person has, you know, fear of commitments, because most of the cancer women will find out that they are pregnant during this month. Let's take a look at your May forecast. Oh. Oof. Betrayal from the past again. Well, this is more likely an air sign. Things will actually start becoming more hectic and tight and stressful around work. Especially that there will be some competitions, dirty politics that will be go that you know that will also happen right behind you. And there is someone who's gonna be very, you know, annoyed or very um irritated by your presence in your workplace. And I feel like this is something that you need to break out. Now family problems that you have been keeping and that you have been like trying to resolve from a distance and i feel like you will be getting the right assistance and uh, i also feel like you will be getting the right funds for this aside from that that you will also be launching into traveling or you will be traveling during this time now things are about to turn again and there is something that you just want to finally put an end 
okay like you are the only one who can put your foot down or you you're the only one who can you know like cut things off and uh, make this person stop and you know do whatever it is to make them or to prevent them from uh t getting your attention again you'll be reaching out to this water to this earth sign and i feel like you'll be getting the right help okay Finally, there will also be good correspondence and good news. And both of you, it seems like you're going to be... There will be some works around the house. Which is like a renovation or... Uh, like a relocation or protection. Or something like that that you're going to be doing I inside your home. And there, there will also be a guest okay, that you'll be expecting. Now... When it comes to your now, when it comes to your workplace, as I've said, that there is uh, going to be a dirty politics that's going to be happening, and someone will also be putting you into trouble or will be causing you trouble. That even though your bosses knows, okay, who is the one who's causing this, they want you to deal with this amicably, okay. Uh, they are just right behind you. They're going to be supporting you. However, you need to do whatever that need whatever you needed to do. Okay, you will be putting this person into their own place, and I feel like even though you don't want to be a little bit aggressive, but you have to. This is someone who is young, younger than you, but already married, and is a water sign. When it comes to your sex life obsession, it seems like the two of you will try to work things out. And uh, as I've said, you know, the last month, um, April, that you will, some cancers will find out that they are pregnant. Um, well, the question is actually, you know. Hmm. Hmm. Well, some cancers will actually find out that they are pregnant or they have impregnated somebody. But in but then it's like their heart and their mind is not really into the situation or in not I into their or not into this relationship. It seems like there needs to be some sort of a more dedication and clarity, because both of you are very confused of the energy. Now some cancers will also find out who the who's the other third party of your partner. And then you will somehow think of that person from the past and regret that you should have done the same thing. Okay, but it's actually not the case. It is much better for you to get out of the situation instead of getting, you know, instead of making the situation even worse and horrible than, than it is right now during this month. Now, when it comes to your health, appendicitis, be very careful. Suffocation when it comes to smoke, or be careful and. Uh, be careful with fire, okay? I also feel like you need to reevaluate your health because you've been losing a lot and you've been losing a lot of weight. You will also notice that most of your clothes doesn't really fit you anymore. You also need to offer some seafood or fresh food diet. And uh, it will also be healthy for you to mingle with some like-minded people. You're already on the path to healing, but I feel like love or the love or emotional depression is the one that's been eating up your system you also need to rehydrate you need to take a lot of uh, vitamin c d and e for your immune system and i feel like there will be some developments when it comes to your health let's take a look when it comes to, sorry let's take a look at your singles forecast for this month It seems like some cancers, the reason why you're going to be asking for the help of, um, of that earth sign is because of your child or because of some problems domestically. You know, f uh, before I proceed, something weird keeps on happening to me for the past few days that there is a name that keeps on popping up or that keeps on you know ringing in my head 
I don't know who this person is. I'm and I haven't really talked or met this person before, but uh, I'm not really sure why her, why her name keeps on ringing in my head. Her name is Victoria Popescu. I'm not really sure who that is. All right. Could be that she is mentally reaching out to me, you know. Um, could be that she's also looking for some help, but I don't know. You know, you can easily reach out to me, send me an email, or, you know, um, go to my website if you really want to. Anyway, there are a lot of ways how to reach out to me. So, maybe I'm just picking up your energy. Anyway, um, when it comes to your life, or love life, singles, mm-mm-mm. You're still going to be very disappointed because it seems like you're going to find out that, you know, some people that you're going to be meeting or there's a, there's someone that you are kind of seeing right now and they are just after your money or after your finances. That you, you know, even though this is actually the case and you already know what's the truth, you feel like... You feel like it's just time to walk away. Even though you've already been together for, you know, for like quite some time already. And um, you're somehow thinking that even though it's too far from reality that this person would somehow commit. But then you feel like, you know, what the heck, you know, I'm just wasting my time with this person. So even though you're happy and there is some chemistry or a sexual connection, you will somehow find it a little bit odd and uh, weird you know to still be in this casual hookup or relationship or whatsoever and you would just decide to walk away or just cut off this person now there is a new earth sign that is younger than you that will be coming your way and i feel like you're going to be falling head, head over heels with this person and you're going to be in a relationship you will be a little bit defensive but and overly protective of yourself but i feel like this is the one that you've been waiting for. A fire sign from the past will be getting in touch with you. Let's take a look at your June forecast. Now let's take a look for your month of June. Somebody from the past, which is an earth sign and a water sign. You'll only try to find the strength to, you know, face this too. However, I feel like you will be running away from them because you just want to make a brand new beginning. You will also be raising your walls up again. Because I feel like this time you will be finding a new love. Although the only thing here is it's not about love triangle. In fact, that you will be juggling between three people both at the same time. Two people from the past and one someone new. Okay? There will be a brand new beginning and I feel like you will be giving a chance to this new person in your life. Because you've all, you're all already fed up of this. You know, this too. has been going back and forth, back and forth. And they don't even know what they, what they want. They're quite emotionally immature even at this age. So you just wanted to, you know. Just want to have a peace of mind. Have that ideal kind of love. While when it comes to your work, it seems like you will be transferring or moving. Or you will be getting a new job or a new opportunity someplace else by the end of this month all right well 
When it comes to those cancers who is already married or already with somebody, your love life will be on and off, on and off, okay? There will be a lot of um, bickerings and uh, bantering and uh, going back and forth about your past. You know, the things that you've already um, gone through in the past that hurted you in the past. You will keep on bringing that up until the other person would just walk away and, you know, they, don't, they just don't want to hear it anymore. And they will somehow feel like this is the reason why you're start we are starting all over again, right? So why do you keep on bringing up the past? Okay, so anyway, let's get down to your general forecast first. This earth sign who will try, as I've said, who will try to work his way, you know, uh, show you that he is worthy of your time, that he is worthy again of your choice, and he will try to squeeze into your life again. Okay, now this person will come back into your life and show you real emotions, real intentions. And I feel like right now you will have a hard time saying no because, you know, after all, you've had a solid foundation and there hasn't been any third party whatsoever. But in fact, that your relationship just, um, you know, just crumbled down because of your attitudes and behavior and because of some... Um, unattended issues before you did not really communicate it until that when you're ready to divorce now another person who is a water sign will be coming back into your life okay this is someone that this very reason you tried to cut off this person and you tried to move on from this but then somehow it seems like you're just running in circles you know it's like you are no matter what you do, no matter where you go, and no matter where you try to hide, this person always finds you. So both of these men are very, or both of these people are mo more of a nuisance for you. And you're already having a hard time concentrating in you moving forward, moving on, and finding a new love. Alright? While... You're trying to move away and while you're trying to rebuild your your edifice again, okay? You will try to build your walls up that even though you still have feelings for this earth sign, you still have feelings for this water sign, you know that both of them will become another trouble and will become another headache for you. So, right in the middle of the month, you will be meeting somebody new, okay? Someone who's also of a fire sign. But this time... The person that you will be meeting means commitment and love and relationship. It's not just all about sex. It's not just all about game. And this person is, I feel like they're pretty much available just around your age. And uh, they have an earth sign element around them. Okay. Earth, water, fire combination. Now, you will be giving this person a chance, hoping that you could move on from this too. And... I also feel like this is the time where you will start thinking of moving. And I hope that moving in together right away with this fire sign. You know, it's too soon just to avoid this too. But still, deep inside of you, there is some sort of feelings and nostalgia and memories that you can still let go from inside of you. So, you still keep on thinking and thinking and thinking, but you will also keep on moving. Okay, in fact, that there will be travel that's already in store for you by the end of this month. All right. It's not that easy to let go. It's not that easy to move on. But eventually, you know, you're going to move away from the clouds, from the dark clouds that you're going to be um, going through. The thing here is what I can advise you. If you are not yet ready emotionally, don't get involved with somebody just to avoid Okay, just to avoid other energies. Sometimes people come back into our lives for closure and not to rebuild the bridges again. Okay, not necessarily that you have to reconcile with them, even if, you know, even if we've been separated from our exes for how many years or for how long, whatever it is, there's still the foundation and there's still the memories. Okay, so the feelings will somehow still be there. It's not that easy to forget. So don't be so you know, uh, problematic about your feelings whenever you see this person or people in back into your life. It is much better for you to let go. If it did not work out in the past, it's not going to work out right now. Now, when it comes to your finances, 
it seems like you will try to mingle and you will try to blend with the crowd however no matter what you do and no matter what you will accomplish this fire sign will still try and ruin your foundation and your um your um your works your integrity your reputation and everything else okay you will also find out that someone has been stealing your credit or someone has been lying right behind you would you say younger air sign and i feel like there will be some big changes that will also be coming into your life or to your work life this month because there will be some shift moving or moving into a new department moving moving into a new company or more likely that you're going to be moving into a different office Altogether, you're going to love the changes that's going to be taking place in your life this month when it comes to your work life because this will entail more financial stability. And I feel like you're going to be moving away from those people who's been trying to jeopardize your career and has been trying to put up a fight just for you to get into the bad limelight. All right? For you to catch the attention of your superiors. But your, but your superiors know your integrity and your reputation. So... Don't worry about, you know, them believing the, the gossip and whatever that's been going on around you because they watch your move and they watch your performance more. Alright, so rest assured that you're already safe at this point. Now when it comes to your sex life, as I've said, it's going to be like on and off in a big drama for this month. You know, for those, for those Cancerians who's already married or already in a relationship. Most of you will be will try to rebuild the uh, the relationship again. Will try to rebuild your foundation. However, I feel like you are the one who cannot let go of the past, and you will just keep on bringing it up until that your partner will just you know get fed up and um, will just walk away instead of launch into an argument. Which is, you know, this is actually the reason why your relationship have fallen apart in the past. You do you do not communicate, and you do not talk about your problems i mean from your end you can say that i've already done everything that i could you know to talk about things we've gone to the uh, counseling uh you know and stuff like that and uh, we've gone to the shrink but it did not really work out you know just to save our marriage just to save our relationship for the sake of our kids but you know still now i feel like you need to offer a different approach Especially for those who's within the air sign. And um, it's really hard to talk to somebody who doesn't really want to listen. You know? So I feel like you need to work into something like a different strategy. If nagging or if uh, bringing up the topic doesn't really work out for your partner, why not try to write them a letter? You know, sometimes not email, <laughs> not text. Okay? But a letter, I feel like it's more of um, heartfelt, you know, if they can read your letter, um, email, they can just delete it, you know, when they get upset. But letter is something that they can feel your handwriting, your energy, your emotions while you are writing that letter. You know, somehow they can connect to you. It's more personalized <coughs> than text message or email. All right. So, if your partner have already stopped listening, then try to look for another way and how to communicate in a silent way. Because I feel like there's still, you know, there's still the chance. And uh, I feel like you only need to, it, it seems like you just need to have, it, you just need to, like, cease fire. Okay. It's not that easy to forget about the past, especially you're the type of a person who doesn't know how to forget, okay? You know how to forgive in time, but forgetting about the thing is uh, something that will always be in the back of your mind, okay? So there's still a chance and there's still hope. Don't lose it. Don't lose hope and don't lose your, um, your wits on this, okay? Now, when it comes to your health, you need to have um healthy diet salad green 
green veg diet and um, depression is also something that will be eating you up this month. You also need to eat more food or eat more healthy food. Legumes also. You also need to offer that. And uh, try to avoid red meat. Okay, white meat is okay. Fish and chicken. But aside from that, try to avoid the red meat for now. And um, high blood pressure, low blood pressure, migraine, and um, I feel like having some chest pains, back pain, pelvic pain. And uh, you will also feel nauseous. And it's like you're going to be very, very sensitive and irritable this month. It's like your period is coming, but it's not okay it is because that you are no longer grounded you need to go and find some space to breathe and uh, find yourself for a little while okay go go and do some soul searching i feel like you can um you can take a break you know from your work aside from that you are You also need to more likely walk near the beach, have more sun, or have a water therapy. Every time that you feel so depressed, swim it off. If you don't know how to swim, walk it off. Okay. Also be careful with some wild animals, especially if you're walking through the woods. Or if you're just walking through the park and there are some other people who's been like walking their dogs uh, and all of a sudden you'll get attacked, okay? Be very careful and try to avoid them as much as possible because the moon during this time will be a little bit unstable, okay? Aside from that, opt for some organic food, natural methods, herbal supplements as well. And uh, you will also try to be more conscious of your appearance, how you look like. You will also be changing your appearance, your aura, your hair color, going to the salon, empowering yourself. You will also try to release your toxins and be very careful with abdominal related illnesses or problems and lower abdomens. Um, joint, no, actually it's rheumatoid arthritis and clogged veins okay it's much better for you to go and check out with your doctor for more verification information now let's take a look singles what is coming your way this month of june This is quite a month for you singles. Family issues. Okay, that's number one. Family issues that there are some responsibilities that you feel like you just wanted to let go or you just want to free yourself up because you're getting so suffocated and it seems like it's never ending. That this is the time that you will be enjoying your... You will be enjoying your career your finances and your life yet there's always something that gets in the way there's something that always that will keep you you know from coming back or from you know like uh, taking care of something back home it's like you're really getting tired of this okay and you, ju you just want to think of a way of an effective way on how to put an end to this now you will try to balance your time your work, your personal life, your family life during this month. And it seems like there are some things that you need to sacrifice, which you are so afraid of losing, but you know that there is something that you have to do. 
okay so you gotta do what you gotta do all right even though there are some things that will become more of a burden for you you know that it's time to let go of it okay now for those of you who is entangled in an illicit affair or who's entangled in you know with somebody who's already married this is the time where you will also be letting go or this is the time where you will have a fight there will be separation and if before you've been going back and forth back and forth then this time you will just try your best to avoid and walk away and you know look for more changes because you know that this kind of relationship is really toxic and there is no it's like there's no future for this okay even if you've been trying to plant your seeds and to you know do your best to make it work and to you know for this person to really choose you it seems like it's never ending so you feel like this time it's really time to cut it off okay no new love that i can see for now i feel like you will be mingling more with your friends and will be surrounding will be surrounded by your loved ones and uh, I feel like you're going to have a lot of fun time, even though there's no love or sex during this month, okay? Aside from that, you'll be concentrating much on your work because you're going to be very busy. In fact, that some of you will be recommended for a um, higher position for the end of the year, all right? Let's take a look at your July forecast. Wow. Singles, you'll be showered with love during this month. I just good for you. And you'll be able to finally get the dream home of yours. You'll be signing a contract, a loan, mortgage, or whatever it is. And I feel like finally there is something that you're going to be moving on from. I mean, the progress will be fast, but I feel like this is really meant for you to have because finally something the, like a dark veil that has been on top of your head or that has been covering your aura for a long period of time will finally be removed this year. In a situation, there can all there can't be no drama. I mean, there there will always be drama. There will always be some people who will try to bring you down, but you will always persevere. Yeah, th this is how strong you are, and you're gonna be using your shells to you know to to protect yourself from this people who's been trying to attack you. Cancer, you, especially for those singles, looks like you're going to be dating multiple dates or multiple prospects, both at the same time. For some other cancers, looks like you're going to have two options. Alright. Be careful with some throat problems, throat infections, ear infections, and uh, food poisoning. Especially for those shellfishes, or shell food, or seafood. Mm. Okay. Hmm. 
contract signing, some legal issues that you're also going to be winning and uh, being on top, opting for a new home, moving to a new place, getting your dream house, or you know, um, getting approved for the mortgage. And I feel like your work will become even more busier and sound during this month. There are some things that you will have to, you know, leave behind. But then it is worth moving away from. All right. Now, three of your superiors or three senior people around you that is related to your work will be on you. Okay, that's why I said that your work will become even more busier during this month because they will be expecting more from you. In fact, that you will be recommended for a higher position and that's why they want you to be trained. They want you to get used to the pressure. They want you to get used to the deadlines and they want you to get used to the hectic environment. All right, so good for you. And this is also the reason why you're gonna, you know, try to juggle between your personal life, your work life, your finances, which is you're gonna be pretty much enjoying it and you're gonna be, you know, You're going to be, um, hmm. you're going to be very, um, hmm. accepting and, uh, I feel like there will be some frequent travels twice during this month. You will also be a speaker or uh, you will be representing your company. And you will be gaining recognition. Oh. So, there are two occasions or there will be two events that you will be attending. And I feel like you'll be gaining more exposure, more praise, more recognition. And your bosses will be more proud of you. Boo. Good for you. But, whether you are married or whether you're already single, you will be meeting too. One water sign and one earth sign again. Which is, you know, in the past, you've had one water sign and one earth sign that is either older than you or just around your age. But then this time, you will be meeting one water sign and one earth sign that is younger than you. All right. So, and there will be a lot of communications. You're both, um, you will be communicating with this too, both. Okay, this is for singles. And if you're already married, then most likely that you will still be meeting these two signs, but it's already up to you. Okay, you know your limits and you know how far you should go. Now, work life, as I've said, that you know you will be harvesting most of your hard-earned labors or most of your hard works in the past and there's also a new contract that you're going to be signing and um i feel like oh you will also yeah this is more likely the same you will be trained for a position there will be a temporary position that you're going to be filling in for someone who's going to be out who's going to be well not really present or absent for a little while and it is because that they want you to you know feel the position even though this will be earning another hate another politics or another jealousy from your peers and you know especially for those who's been there for like how many years and they've been trying to get the management's attention you know to recognize their performance so this is going to be another controversy for you to, for you to face all right but you know just keep on going and just keep on doing whatever it is that you're doing so and some people will spread some gossip that you are you know you're an ass kisser you're like this you're like that you're doing this you're doing that okay someone who's going to be very very spiteful and jealous of your performance and of your luck Okay, in abundance for this month, we'll be spreading a lot of harsh gossips around you. And you have to deal with this person once and for all. Either this person is a Leo or an Aries. Okay, fire sign, both fire sign. All right. Now, when it comes to your sex life, 
Ooh, multiple partners. Whether you're married or whether you're also single, okay? Married, be careful with the temptation this month. Or if you already have an existing temptation, be careful to, you know, get too emotional. Because someone will try to separate with you. Someone will try to break up with you because they can't really stay in this relationship anymore. And you will be a little bit preoccupied, distracted, or you're going to be um, very emotional about it. Because you know to yourself that you do have feelings for this person and they're just more than like a booty call to you. Okay? But you will also try to stop them and you will also try to woo them. So, you know what? If you cannot make a choice at this point... And if the other person is already giving way for you to work out your marriage or your relationship, just, you know, try to understand that, that you also need to set them free if you cannot give the relationship or the exclusivity that they wanted from you. All right. Now, for those singles, looks like you're going to be up for multiple partners or multiple casual thing. Hmm. And... I feel like even though you're going to be enjoying much of your sex life this month, you won't be choosing anybody. Okay? Because it's like your your heart is longing for someone. Your heart is looking for someone or missing something that you were used to in the past. Okay? Now, when it comes to your health, things are looking good. You know? You just need to keep your healthy diet and you just need to remove some of your unhealthy diet like junk food binging. And um, if you if you love chips, why don't you try to offer some herbal chips, okay? And um, I feel like try to avoid oily food. Um, you also need to offer oatmeal diet during this month because of your cholesterol and, uh, you know, extra fats in your body. Not because that you are, um, not because that you are thin or you've been losing weight doesn't necessarily mean that you don't have any cholesterol in your body, okay? It's much better for you to have a um, less fat in your body because of your heart. It will be very much affected for the next few months. Also, some uh, be careful in switching your, you know, your cream or or facial wash or something like that that you use in your face, especially those harsh, chemically. Um, ingredients in the well harsh chemical ingredients in the in the makeup okay be very careful about that because you're gonna have um serious rashes in your in your face and it will spread down to your shoulder and to your forearm okay um it's more likely because of the uh it's not yet tested. I mean, it's going to look good in your skin while you're applying it. But once you stopped it, that is where the aftermath will be seen. I also feel like you, also, you need to uh, get more in touch with your faith. And be more thankful with all the blessings that you're going to be, you know, receiving, you know. Instead of praying whenever you needed it. So I feel like your guides or your spiritual self or higher self will be calling out for you during this month. And uh, immune system. And this is something that you need to battle with because um, you will have some fever. It's because of your stress. Okay, fever and uh, frequent body pain and lethargy as well. Eyesight, eye problems. Okay, you'll also have some problems um, navigating and. Um, narrowing your hmm. it's like your vision will be all over the place like it's um, sometimes you can see people but sometimes it's too blurry and sometimes you're having some you know um, not really blindness but sometimes your eyesight is not really that stable so I feel like it's much better for you to go and check out with your a neurologist and a eye specialist as well both at the same time okay because i don't feel like this comes from your eyes this comes from the vein in your brain okay that or that is connected to your brain again eat some healthy diet and don't offer some microwavable food or microwavable stuff avoid smoking if you don't want to you know um 
more like it's much better for you to prevent your liver damage, okay? And aside from that, you'll feel more well and active during the by the end of this month, okay? As I've said, that water therapy or walking therapy. Let's take a look, singles. What's going to be coming your way this month of July? Well, you pretty much know what's going to be coming into your life because you will, are going to have multiple partners or multiple prospects. Let's take a look more. Okay, this earth sign that is very persistent in your life. You'll be walking away from this. You'll be cutting this person off. This is the one from the past. This is no one. Th this is not the uh, the person that someone knew. The one that's either older than you or just around your age. You will also be cutting a lot of people in your life during this month. Hmm. You will be very practical and brave and courageous in your, you know, in your um, decisions during this month. Huh. Now, you will be moving on from this earth sign. And even though, you know, it's going to hurt you or it's going to sting you, you feel like it's much better off to, you know, cut this person off. And uh, it's not really going to work out somehow, you know. You really appreciate the things that, you know, this person will be doing for you. But then you somehow feel like it is much better to just leave it at that. Okay. Um, you've all, you've, you will try to forgive and you will also try to forget and move on. But not necessarily mean that you have to get back together again. All right. You want something much more stable and you want a real relationship or even marriage which is I feel like you will be getting this from a water sign and a fire sign that is older than you will be very inconsistent going back and forth back and forth that even though you've already tried to start a new foundation or you've already tried to start something with this you know with this person it seems like it's not really going anywhere now another is this person has been causing you a lot of grief, mental um, mental stress, okay, and mental pain or headache. And you can feel that there are some red flag signs that this person has been showing you already. And even though, you know, even though there has been some connections or chemistry, you feel like... You cannot really deal with someone else's excess baggages because you're already dealing, you know, something on your own, more likely about your family. So you don't want to, you, you will be very practical about your choices during this month. And even though you're going to be enjoying much of your sex life during this month, eh, you only want to settle down with someone who can be really serious with you and can take you seriously or can give you a promise of, you know, future love, stability, and family. All right. So let's take a look at your month of August forecast.
your moss will be a little bit average, you know. Uh, it seems like there will be a lot of issues that's going to be happening both at the same time. Especially in your personal love life or marriage front. Married couples, it seems like this is where you're going to be putting your foot down. And it seems like you're going to say enough is enough. So, separation. And... More likely... Mm, divorce. Well, just the thought of it. I don't see any natural legal... Thing that's going to be taking place this month. Mm. You're also going to be a little bit evasive when it comes to your family connections or family responsibilities. You'll be concentrating much on your work and by the end of this month, things are actually going to be looking good. Last week of the month looks much better for you. Mm, first three weeks? Uh-uh. Now, you will be moving away from something, okay? From a situation, a person, or like a problem. You know, that even though this is going to be a very big challenge for you, and also a big sacrifice, you know that if you're not going to do this, it will be never-ending, okay? This has been an idea, or this has been a thought that's been running through your mind for the past few months, and I feel like this is where you're going to be really implementing it. Okay, you're going to be putting your foot down, you're going to be practicing your authority, and you feel like, nope, this is how far I can only go, and this needs to stop, okay? I don't want to participate in it anymore, because it's just going to engulf me, it's just going to eat me up, and it's also going to eat my, eat up my energy and my time, and, uh, you know, everything else that's been, like, changing in my life, and I can't let that happen anymore, okay? Be very careful in being too harsh, uh, verbally uh, or physically, Okay, with uh, some people that has been relying on you because I feel like you'll be a little bit harsh, you know. Uh, you're going to be saying a lot of harsh things. You're also going to have some sharp tongue, you know. And uh, you'll be hurting senior family members during this month because of a fight that's going to be like, um, that's gonna, that has been upscaling. And I feel like because they rely too much on you, there's too much responsibilities, there's too much, um, you know, uh, things that's been going on. And I feel like, um, hmm. I feel like it's your emotion that will be draining you because after all you know you cannot just leave your loved ones behind just like this especially if they've been counting too much on you but um you need to be practical and you need to whisk this off your mind last week of this month will become much more progressive much more um productive and I feel like there's a lump sum of money that you're going to be getting, receiving, and you'll be very much happy with it. Part of it, you'll be sending it off to your family for them to use it. But part of it, you'll be using it to buy new furniture for your new house. Now, work front. There will be some arguments with, the, uh, with an air sign woman. Okay, that you will be confronting about a credit or about a document or about a job related thing that will be spilling or that will be missing or that will be 
uh, taken by the others. Okay, in fact, that you're the one who will be pitching this, or you're the one who worked hard to gather all these documents and to process this and everything else, and all of a sudden it will be turned over to somebody. So there will be some confrontation, and you'll be you're going to say that it is so unfair. Okay, even though that this is the case, you want you you know I'm not saying that you're you, you shouldn't confront them, but your effort of confronting them will only go to waste. Okay, nothing is going to happen. Because they feel like it is our decision. Who do you think you are to confront us? You know? So for you, it's like, so why do you have to ask me to process it? Or why do you have to ask me to do it if you're going to give it to somebody, to somebody else? Why not try to test it or to test them if they can also do the same thing that I've done? Okay? So you won't be hurt. It's, you know, it's not really going to pan out in a way that you expect things to be. And I feel like you need to wait for a little while around the last week of this month because whatever it is that you've been trying to fight for or whatever it is that you've been trying to battle with, you will be winning by the end of this month, not through the first three weeks of this month. So just lay low, get a low profile and just be quiet. If there are some things that, because sometimes your management will also be testing you, okay? How f it's like, how will you be dealing with um, crisis? Or with some unfair situations and if you will be showing off your temper that's going to be you know creating a red mark on you all right money will also be coming into you this end of the month i mean aside from your salary and aside from the things that you normally receive there's going to be an extra money that you're going to be receiving and it's enough for you to start something new and for you to change some of your old furniture or even you know buy a new car now, when it comes to your sex life and love life, looks like sun is going to be shining on you. And the uh, love will be sweeter the second time around. You'll be reconciling with somebody from the past. And I feel like you will try to understand each other's weaknesses, fears, and pain. There will also be some laying the cards on the table. And uh, you'll also try to avoid somebody who became your lover or who's, who used to be your lover. And I feel like you will try to concentrate in your feelings, rebuild your foundation again, and you will try to please or woo each other. Good for you. Now, when it comes to your health, you just need to concentrate in your own well-being and stop t thinking too much. This is also the reason why you cannot really, y you will have a lot of um, sleepless nights, okay, or insomnia, and your blood flow will also be very um affected during this month because check out for your um well check out with your doctor okay if you have an anemia because the, the reason why you're feeling a little bit lethargic sometimes you're feeling uh woozy or um feeling a little bit imbalanced and always tired and always feeling heavy it is because that your blood is running low Okay, or the red platelets. It's much better for you to go and check out with your doctor. Plus, you will try to rebuild your, you know, you, you will try to rebuild your health again by getting involved in some activities or extra dancing activities. Okay. And uh, you also need to be a little bit more hygienic because be careful with food poisoning again. Okay. Aside from that, I don't see any major thing that's going to be happening to you during this month also be careful in going up to the high places because you're going to be breaking your ankle during this month all right let's take a look at your singles forecast before we delve into your september forecast
right. Hmm. Uh-huh. As I've said, the sun will be shining on you during this month, especially for singles, because you're going to be falling in love. You're going to be choosing or giving a chance this, uh, you know, this uh, for this water sign. And I feel like there will be, you know, two weeks of bliss. And uh, you will also be opting for a travel, more likely a personal pursuit. And... There's still some things from the past that will be catching up on you, or, you know, more likely memories or fears from the past. You just need to be less, you know, indecisive for this to work out. Now, you need to leave some old memories behind. That if you really want to move on, stop remembering them, stop putting them in your mind that it's going to happen again, or this person might just do it to you again. Stop putting your walls up because you're just inviting the energy to manifest. Aside from that, I can see that you're going to be... Someone will be making you happy, which is a water sign. Someone will try to woo you, please you, show you that it's still, you know, good to feel in love. And good to be loved and it feels great to be well taken care of okay so this month you're gonna be the princess of somebody or you're gonna be the prince of someone which is a, another water sign okay the earth sign I feel like you're gonna be you know, cutting them off so this is gonna be a new love okay I don't feel like this is somebody from the past this is uh, this is someone that is that you have recently met well, that you've recently met during, well, three months before this month. So, this is all with the August, around May or June. Alright? So, let's take a look at your September forecast. Some people that you have already cut off in the past, they're gonna knock on your door again during this month. I also feel like you'll be meeting with some of your old colleagues from your former work and there you will be attending a gathering and you'll be very happy. Looks like you're gonna have a break, okay? And you'll also have some ideas or you'll be gaining some ideas on how to cope up with your work stress or with your, you know, straining work environment. Travel will also be in store for you during this month. I feel like uh, your destiny will be catching up on you. And you're going to be pleased with your hard works and diligence. Hmm. An air sign that will be walking away from you, a water sign that will become more and more in touch and more closer, more expressive, and more into you. You will also feel that love is coming back into your life or love is starting to flow back into your heart. Because right after all the things and all the storm that you have gone through, you've already started to become, you know, heartless or sometimes you feel like you don't know how to love anymore but then this month you will somehow feel that you know you still have a heart after all and uh, it's it feels great to fall in love again now that the storm is over Mm. All right. Mm. As I've said that there's an air sign who will be walking away from you. 
Okay, and uh, some people from the past that you've already cut off in the past, they'll be catching up on you. And uh, don't close the door, okay? In fact, that if they needed to be forgiven, then just forgive them even if they're not asking for it. What's important is that you need to unload whatever that success, you know, in your life and inside your heart. And so that you can move on and move up lightly without any, you know, extra in your backpack. Now things will also uh, things will also start going up, progressing, and happiness, money, pr abundance, and uh, other offers that will be coming into your life during this month that is related to work and business. But then you feel like, am I really ready for it? Some um, former work colleagues or business associates will also be approaching you during this month for some ideas or f for some possible business collaboration but uh, yeah you'll be questioning yourself if you're really ready for it because you're going to be very busy with your work you're going to be very busy with your hectic schedule especially that there will be two travels that you're going to be making during this month and you know you'll be receiving an extra for this yeah, good for you. And again, some family issues and some family obligations that you need to fulfill. Which is, I feel like this is already part of your journey or part of your destiny. That you cannot just, you know, um, take away or sweep off. Now, when it comes to your work life, again, you'll be traveling, representing. I also feel like there is a conference that you will be attending. And you're going to be very busy. Um... For those singles, you will have a hard time juggling between your work and your personal life if you're dating somebody. But expect that that person will be coming to you or will be following you, which is good for you. Now, upon your new beginning and upon you starting a new project or starting a new... It's like you will be brainstorming with your team about a possible you know, project or, uh, you know, the proposal that you've been trying to pitch into the management, there is someone who will try to sabotage you and will try to always contradict you. So this will create more of a discouragement at first, but then you will somehow realize what this person is trying to do to you and you will be blocking off their energy. So good for you. You'll be learning a lot. Okay. And there's also a contract that you will be signing on behalf of your company and you'll be initiating this and this is going to entail a bigger money or bigger project for the company. And they're going to like you more for because of this. Now, sex life. Uh, it looks like you're going to be another drama again, you know, on and off, on and off. You're going to be wooing, fighting, wooing, fighting, jealousy, drama, confrontations. And it looks like right after the big fight, there will be a big sex as well. Okay. So you're going to be exploring much more of yourselves and much more of your feelings because it seems like the more you fight, the more your feelings will get even more stronger for each other. So good for you. Now, when it comes to your... Huh, health. I feel like you will be a little bit sensitive to heights. You're feeling nauseous. A vertigo. You will also find find it hard to, you know, to either stand for a long period of time. Um, bronchial problems and um, cold and flu, fever. Um... I also feel like during this month, try to avoid more sun, okay? Um, you can still go for your usual swimming therapy, but only in the morning, not too much. Because you're going to have some skin blemishes or some skin problems. Not skin, not, not sunburn, but more likely some skin rashes or skin irritations because of too much sun. Stress will still be right eating you up, but then you will try to divert your attention by visiting family or by um, treating them out. Also, for those who's been smoking and who's been, you know... Um, Oh, we'll go through the secondhand smoking. Check out your lungs and check out your your air passages because I feel like this might have been blocked because of the smoke or because of the pollution that you've been going through every day. Um, your stress will also be affecting your uh, what do you call this? Your immune system. Okay, so might as well check out with your doctor what will be the best supplements or what will be the best you know best way to fight that. 
Uh, I feel like you're gonna be opting for some herbal stuff during this month. Instead of uh, the synthetic medicines. But, you know, if that is what you really need, might as well just uh, go and talk with your doctor. Let's take a look, singles. Family issues, friend issues, and it seems like you will also have a bitter ex that will be coming to you or attacking you during this month in the social media. So just be very careful. Um, uh, this is not really going to be a pleasant month for you singles. Although, on the work front, there will be some good news and bad news, okay? If you're planning to resign or if you're planning to, uh, to transfer to another department or another company, you will then be, you know, getting the job and you will be signing a new contract. However, if you're also trying to petition or if you're also trying to request to move to a new department, yes, it will be granted during this month. But when it comes to your personal life and family things... Expect that there will be some relatives that will be, you know, passing on some judgment and um, harsh comments against you or whatever it is that you do. But just try to ignore this, okay? This is normal for those people who feels threatened in your presence and who feels very insecure about their lives, okay? Now, it seems like you won't really have that much time with your partner, or with your, you know, with the one that you're dating. And instead of them sulking because they, they're somehow going to feel like, oh my god, you don't really have time for me because you're too busy. You're always busy. So they're going to try and follow you and cheer you up. But still, they have to wait on the sidelines because of this. I'm not saying that you should prioritize your love life at this point. But it seems like you need somebody who is very open-minded and very understanding. All right? Let's take a look at your October forecast. Someone who's a fire sign will be asking you to loan them money, okay? And I feel like there will be some things at work that you're going to be dealing with and that you need to face. It's more likely that there will be some delays or there will be some things that you will not really submit on time beating the deadline okay and uh, this will be disappointing some of your superiors who's been counting on you it is because that you're going to be very distracted about your love life or about your personal life whether you are single or whether you are you know married and whatever it is that's been going inside your domestic um domestic life uh, it's kind of inevitable for you not to drag it down to your work. Now, things are somehow looking good in your work front as well. But then the competition and the jealousy and the gossip will become even more intense during this month. And you will somehow find the courage to really walk away from it. But then it's like this person will keep on taunting you. And uh, you feel like you'll be losing your temper by the end of this month. Uh, I hope that you're not going to be that aggressive.
Again, some throat problems and throat infections. Hair losses. And you will also notice some red patchings in your skin. It's because of the soap that you've been using. Now... A fire or someone will try to talk you out, you know, in loaning them. And um, I feel like, in, like for example, they're asking for 10 grand. You're just going to give them six, okay? It's not the entire amount because you know their capability when it comes to, you know, uh, returning the money takes time. So, um, I don't feel like you also get along well with this relative or with this person, but somehow you don't want to offend them or you still have an extra anyway, but you just want to make sure that this person will be paying you your money at the, you know, the right time or at the intended time that you needed it back. Now, some things that you cannot just, you know, cut off, especially, especially this earth sign who will keep on dipping back and forth into your life and you still need to deal with their bitterness. They're not going to, you know, leave you alone yet and they're going to have a hard time letting go of you. Um, you will try to give whatever it is that they are demanding from you, but then you feel like, you know, it's not really worth it. And I feel like you will be pulling out more courage in you to really end this once and for all. If you need to launch into something legal, then you have to, or that you will. It's more likely a threat, but I don't feel like it's going to be implementing, it's going to be implemented during this month. But you will start thinking about you know opting for some legal action against this person who's been harassing you travel the uh, last week of this month or at the last two weeks of this month is also at par and you will be reserving your energy or your temper okay now when it comes to your work life Money will be breezy and money will be flowing in continuously and smoothly. And I feel like there are, there will be a reason for you to rejoice, celebrate, and for you to, you know, um, celebrate your glory. If there is also a competition or if there is also a game that you're trying, that you will be battling or uh, competing with, you will expect that you will also be winning. But at the same time, it will be creating another jealousy and uh, plotting another mm, this empty revenge or so-called revenge from these people or from this three people. Actually, there are only three people who try to go against you at your work. Okay, someone who's going to be spreading harsh gossips, someone who will try to sabotage you and someone who will be very upfront that they hate you. Okay, so... Right after this, you will learn how to move on and you will learn how to move away from it. Don't let your temper, okay, uh, fly off and uh, don't be too aggressive. Because this is what they really want to, you know, for you to do. For you to lose your temper and for you to, you know, wail out and finally confront them. Be a little bit more violently aggressive. So... Try to put in your mind that they're only trying to provoke you. That's why they are doing this. Now, when it comes to your sex life, it seems like you're not really going to be contented about how things are going. And you will somehow feel like, oh, this is what he promised. This is what they promised. This is what we should be doing. But then it's like we're going back to the same old path again. And I don't want to go back to that again. You know, I keep on believing in same old empty promises. And I keep on... Wasting my time by going around in circles. No matter how much I try to get out of the situation, I keep on, you know, I keep on falling in the same spot. And this is, you know, for how many times that we have tried to get back together, reconcile, break up, and stuff like that. It's just going in circles and it just keeps on uh, repeating the pattern. Now, if somebody from the past that you will try to get in touch to will somehow... Create a spark or create a, uh, an attraction between the two of you, but you know where your limits are, okay? And it's already up to you if you wanted to if you wanted to cross the line. Now, when it comes to your health, um, hmm. 
barley, wheat, and bran. These are the, the food that you should be taking this month as a diet. And um, I feel like grilled, mm, grilled corn will also help you out. And uh, you also need to remove some of your not so healthy eating lifestyle, like uh, always eating outside or, uh, you know, opting for some junk food or not so healthy food. This will just, you know, give, this will, this will just create more health problems in your body. And again, some allergies from harsh chemicals that you're going to be using, whether you're a man or a woman. Plus, you also need to mingle with some like-minded people for you to grow spiritually and for you to grow mentally. And um, be careful in eating she seashells or seafood during this month. And um, check out your 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 ulcer because it will be affecting your breath. Okay. Aside from that, I feel like you will only have problem. You will only have some problems at your back. Or with your shoulder blades. Aside from that, you'll, you're going to be better off. And you're going to be just very conscious of how you look like. And you will be... It's more about your vanity and your aura. And how you actually look like. Aside from that, I feel like you know how to keep stash. In order for you to... You know, gain some more weight. Alright. So, let's take a look at your singles forecast. Now, finally, let's take a look at your singles forecast. All right, singles. It looks like you're going to be um you are going to be making a big choice, okay? Um someone will be asking you for a commitment or marriage or yeah, more likely someone will be presenting your ring during this month and it seems like even if you're not yet ready emotionally, you feel like why not? Okay, now right before accepting this and right before, whether it's a commitment, a ring or like a marriage, right before accepting this, make sure that this is what you're, you know, this is the person that you really want to be with instead of escaping from a person from the past that's still, you know, going to try and catch up on you and you're just trying to avoid. All right, now things will be very stable and happy. And I feel like emotionally you will be in a safe place, especially with your family. It's just that there are some things that you will still be a little bit indecisive about, especially when it comes to finances or business related matters when it comes to your family. Especially if you are um, share, working or sharing your, your revenue or there's like some sort of a family business that you're currently involved in. Okay. You feel like, I mean, your instincts will somehow kick in and tell you that if family member is not really being honest about some financial matters and some financial split up and some someone is trying to not really betray, but trying to take to outsmart your parents okay about the money so this is your this is going to be your mission during this month and you will also try to nail down who is the culprit okay and aside from that you'll be laying low when it comes to your work during this month because you wanted to take a vacation now there will be 
a uh, travel that you're going to be doing by the end of this month or by the, for the second week of this month it's just for you to have a break and just for you to have a little breather i feel like you know as much as you can you just wanted to spend it alone or you just want to spend it on your own but uh, this person has been so into you will really try and squeeze themselves into you or you know try and squeeze themselves into your schedule and they're gonna volunteer to come with you all right so i feel like that's uh, well this is above average month for you singles all right so good for you and finally you'll be getting a proposal let's take a look at your november forecast finally Oh, finally some things about your destiny that will be catching up and you're able that you will be settling in and I feel like there's a contract or in like a bank thing or bank matters that you will be taking care of during this month and I feel like you'll be settling most of your loans or you'll be settling most of your debts good for you you'll be managing your finances very well and you will be having a lot of extra time as well to spend with your family you'll also be treating your family out or you will be treating them on a trip oh it's just that's good for rebuilding their bridges again or for rebuilding your foundation again Especially for those who's been like cracking up in their marriage. Mm -mm -mm. Alright, now here, you will be splitting your time, okay? I feel like you just want to have some... This is the time where you will try to relax and you will also be calling out for a vacation or break from your very hectic work. And uh, you just want to free your mind up from those toxic people that you are working with. And uh, you will be... Oh... You'll be opting for a second home or you will be investing into a second home during this month. And uh, which is this is, you know, the bank thing or the bank um, transaction that you're going to be taking care of by the end of this month. So things are looking good and it seems like real estate or will be a very good investment for you. Now, aside from the house that you're that you already have, you will have some extra cash to invest into a, your second home or to have another second property for investment or for you know small business of your own so you will be rebuilding your foundation your life and your finances again good for you cancer now when it comes to your work 
you feel like you just can't really tolerate all this toxic environment anymore and you feel so stuck you know you love your work you love your bosses and you love you know whatever it is that you do but the people around you is what's been killing you and it's slowly you know it's more likely you see them as a cancer okay that's been slowly eating you up and uh, deteriorating you so you just want to free your mind up from all these toxic people that you just want to have a break okay either it's going to be for two weeks or one month straight you want to offer a um what do you call this you want to offer a um hmm. like a out of town or out of the country break but then I feel like instead of you opting for your full vacation or utilizing your full vacation, like for example, if you the first for two weeks or one month, your company or your boss will be calling out you will be calling you out earlier. Okay, so the fun will be over a little bit earlier. Well, anyway, it's, it's you know better than never. And when it comes to your sex life and to your love life, some slight dramas on and off, wooing and uh, fighting making love and some jealousy bringing up the past fears of the past and it seems like you really need to measure up your own issues as well because your partner will be doing anything and everything just to you know rebuild the bridges again or re rebuild your foundation your house but then you are the one who just can't really seem to let go of the past you need to work on this okay especially your trust issues now when it comes to your health, I know it's not really that season, but just be careful with uh, with the illness that is related to a chicken pox or to a... Um, it's like you're going to have some small red bumps around your body. And uh, it seems like it's, you know, it consists pus or watery. Okay. Um... It is because of a, I feel like it will come from a chicken or from an infected chicken that you're going to be taking in. So be very careful where you buy the meat or how you cook it. Okay. Um, it's so easy for you to get some food poisoning or some food related allergies. Okay. Immune system, drink a uh, lemon and uh, fresh lemon, freshly squeezed lemon plus ginger, uh, sorry, uh, garlic and pinch of salt okay and um your immune system i feel like it will become more strengthened if you will just try to work on your stress because your stress is the one that's been eating up your entire system and this is the reason why you keep on getting sick okay now also try to offer some thanksgiving or for some you know for some offering to your guides for giving the good life and for having the great life that you're that you're going to be enjoying for this entire year of 2019 all right aside from that uh rheumatoid arthritis um joint problems and um hip problems as well well lower back of your pelvis okay sorry lower part of your pelvis or your lower back you will have some problems with that it's because of your overwork and uh, during your driving you're not really in the right position or your right posture let's take a look singles what's going to be in store for you this month of november Oh, well, it's more like the disappointment when it comes to your work. That's this the only thing that I can see that will be affecting your life. Uh, aside from that, I feel like you'll also start thinking of uh, resigning from your work and going for something bigger. 
Uh, I'm picking up some companies that is, you know, really, that is somewhat similar to Mac to Microsoft. All right. Now here, it seems like you just can't really, you know, you, you just can't really tolerate all those toxic environment. You know, this is so much related to those who's already married as well. So you will start thinking of either starting your own business, opting for your own business, or investing your money into something that you feel like someday you can harvest. Okay. You will also be collaborating with somebody whom you know is very um, well-versed or very fam familiar in this industry or in this business. And you will start initiating or registering your business during this month. When it comes to your love life, it seems like you are getting so suffocated with the attention of this water sign towards you. And you are just hanging on the edge. You know, it's like if this person will try to break up with you because you don't really have time and they keep on demanding it, they're being overly clingy and uh, attention seeker okay yet you're very much into your personal life into your finances but when it comes to your love life you know this is the least that you can really you know be concerned about so i mean it, i mean I, 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 it seems like you do have some feelings for this person, but you're wasting your time again, or you're wasting your opportunity again by doing the same thing that you have done in the past. That's why your relationship did not really work out in the first place. Okay? Don't try to ignore those people who's been trying to wait out for you and trying to give you the love that you want, that you need, and that you deserve. Just because that you are so afraid of getting hurt again, because you are going straight into the path. Okay? Let's take a look finally at your December forecast. First two cards. Uh huh. You know, if you will be opting for a renovation or for construction of your newly invested home, or you're opting for a renovation for your current home right now, there will be some delays and there will be some disappointments that's going to be coming your way. Especially with the person that is in charge of this, okay? Now, Cancer, some of you who is with a fire sign will have a temporary separation, okay? Because of um, some irre irreconcilable differences. And it seems like both of you are so tired of your fights anyway. So, but then it's only going to be for two weeks, Right after two weeks, the two of you will get back together and we'll start all over again. You know, it's like you are two teenagers. Work front. It seems like there will be a big transition and those people who's been pestering you for the past few months will finally get a reprimand. You will also be getting the, the, uh, the promotion that you've been working on and you've been trying to work so hard to prove yourself that you so deserve this position and finally you're going to be in the position or you're going to be in the authority to kick all of those people who's been trying to block you off and who's been trying to get you off the position good for you i'm also picking up a vp position
All right. Now, there are actually three things here, okay? Cancers who's going for a renovation or for some construction or, uh, you know, that you are trying to get your house fixed, expect that there will be some delays. People who will be overpricing and people who's not going to be showing up during the time of their work, which will be disappointing you because there's already cash that's already involved. Now, the second... Um, there will be a temporary separation. Some, somebody will be walking out of your house to get a break and to have a little breather. It's not going to be a, a um, permanent separation, so don't worry about it. You just need to have a break in space from each other. Okay, because, because, um, sorry, with the, the consistent and with the persistent um, bickering back and forth, your partner will somehow feel like, you know what, we need some space. You know, we need to get away from each other for a little while because... I can't really breathe anymore every time I'm in, fr I'm in front of you, you know? I'm going to go out. Or I'm going to go for a little while. I'm going to go in our cabin or vacation house or wherever it is, okay? Or I'm going to stay with my mother. So, but, uh, second two weeks, or sorry, the last two weeks of this month, the two of you will get back together and we'll try to sort things out and you will try to be a little bit more patient with each other. And you will also be traveling, okay, along with your kids or just the two of you. Good for you. Now, some cancers who's also trying to get their house refinanced, they expect that there will be some delays or there will be some additional doc documents or there will be some new things that the bank will be requiring you to and you won't really have enough time to you know, take care of it at this point because of the holidays and everything else that's going to be upcoming and you're going to be very disappointed because you've been counting on this. Now, and it's also because they can't really get away from your work. You know, this is partly the reason why. And, yeah, some bank thing that you will be, you know, now, when it comes to your work front or when it comes to your workplace, those people has been trying to put you down and those people has been trying to pester you because of their, you know, um, they're just pretty much miserable with their own life and they're not really happy with their position. They will now be vowing or they will now be like backing off because you will be in the position to terminate all of them. Okay, but you're not going to do it. Okay, but you will be putting... Uh, some border lines or there it's like you're gonna be putting where they should be more likely you're gonna be given a suspension you know and they couldn't really believe that right after all of those instructions that they've been trying to put you up with for the past few months you still manage to get on top and to you know finish whatever it is that you need to finish so you'll be earning their respect and these people will no longer be um, bothering you all right you will also be receiving an extra emolument and the uh, extra benefits and you will be receiving longer breaks during this month it's like your company will be giving you enough time to spend time with your family or to you know have a break because you so deserve it now when it comes to your sex life looks like it's gonna be like on and off on and off love will be sweeter love will be bitter and then the more you fight and the more you separate, the more you would just wish, sorry, the more that you would just miss each other and the more you will make love. Your sex life will be a little bit harsh during this month because of, uh, it seems like you're going to be trying some new styles or some new stuff, but um, I feel like it's only going to be temporary, okay? But, you know, the good news here is your feelings or your emotions will become even more stronger and will become even more, you know, um, stronger, more passionate, more sweeter. And uh, it's like those eyes, okay, that used to envelop your hearts or that used to below your hearts in the past it will slowly be thawed because you will you know fall in love more during this time with each other so good for you right after that quick separation you know and sometimes we just needed a break and sometimes we just needed some space you know away from our loved ones in order for us to stop bickering and bantering back and forth now 
you will also、uh, notice some changes, some good changes that's、uh, that's been occurring and happening in your life. And I feel like you will be continuously working on your body and working on you and toning your muscles and toning your spiritual health as well. Again, be careful with some wild animals. Um, be careful in getting bitten, whether it's your pet or、uh, some other stuff or some other animals. Oh, and be careful in getting attacked by a bear during this month. Okay, and for those who wants to、uh, during this month, it's going to be very cold. But I feel like just be very careful, okay, in getting near the water. Um. I'm not really sure if this is also the season for surfing, but just be very careful. I don't know why I picked it up.、Um, also, uh, organic stuff, organic food, and organic,、um, organic rice. Planting some new seeds, and you will also be working on your new regime, new diet. You'll also be very health conscious. Of More about your skincare as well. Not really obsessing over it, but you're gonna be、um, googling or you're gonna be researching more things about how to, you know, remove the blemishes, the wrinkles, and other stuff in your skin. You are gonna be beautifying yourself during this month, and、uh, don't stay too late at night because of your eyes. And I hope that you've already checked out with your neurologist about that vein that I was talking about. Aside from that, you will be. Um, going back into that healthy path, okay.、Uh, just don't forget to keep your body active and healthy, and don't overstrain yourself, okay. The reason why you're having a lot of problems, you're, you know, for the the past few months is because of your stress, the adjustment to your new environment, and、uh, you know, working with those toxic people who's been very spiteful, and、uh, you know, trying to express their bitterness towards you because they're not really happy with their life or with their work life. You just need to understand that there are some people who doesn't know how to get over their insecurities and their. You know, or、um, their own shortcomings. They just need to deal with it. Oh, okay. Building your life with your soulmate or with a person that is really meant to be with you, but then somehow, oh. Uh, 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 uh. You're the one who's gonna be like、uh, walking away from this relationship again because you feel like there is a betrayal, or there's gonna be a red flag that you're gonna be catching this person, and you thought that this is the one. Okay. Now there will be a betrayal. You know what? <sighs> um, the reason why this keeps on happening is because you really have to put some more effort in your relationship. The other person has been trying to get your attention and be, has been trying to express themselves, and you know you can't really blame them if they get tired of waiting around for you and you just keep on ignoring them. Okay, so if this happens, try to understand that the reason why this happened or why this person just veered away all of a sudden is because you're not really paying attention to your responsibilities or you know to your role in the relationship. Now you just need to talk, and、uh, because I feel like you're just gonna walk away and find like fine, go ahead with your other one, and you know I'm better off myself. And、um, you just need to communicate and talk things out, you know, instead of spending the holidays alone. And I also feel like you're gonna be back in touch with this Earth sign who's gonna be. This person is a little bit on and off, on and off, and up and down. Oh, both of you, but、um, I. Feel like this person will just give you more closure, and you will somehow feel by the end of this year, you know, that it is worth forgiving and it is worth giving the other person a chance because somehow they have shown you what they're truly capable of. Let's take a look at all of your oracle cards during this month.
Sorry, I meant during this year. We're the 12th. Okay. This is for January, Feb, March, April, May, June. July, August, September, October, November, December. Now, eight of Raphael, there is something better waiting for you. Do what you know is right for you. It's virtual quest. Okay. This actually fell out, so let's just in, um, include this. Now, February, Leap of Faith, Archangel Metatron. Believe in yourself, listen to your heart, do what gives you joy. In the month of March, King of Michael, principled, rational, ambitious, respected. Wisdom and objectivity are, are important now. Stay in your integrity, a situation that calls for honest and open communication. April, Queen of Ariel, nurture yourself and those you love, the ability to make you anything more beautiful, practical, and wise advice. May, 10 of Ariel, there is so very much to be grateful for. Financial success and the promise of retirement, a rich and rewarding family life. See, you're going to have a financial st stable year. June, the wheel, new beginnings, end of delays, a change in direction that offers happiness. Good for those singles because you will be finding somebody who is going to be offering you love it. You're just going to be ignoring it. July 2 of Michael, it will, be, it will all be better if you just make a decision over analyzing a problem. Find a compromise. August, to Raphael, two hearts dedicated to creating something wonderful, kindred spirits. Don't give up on those you love. Those who's been trying to work on their relationships, don't give up. Queen of Gabriel, you can do anything right now. Go after what you want, the ability to attract helpful people. Now, three of Raphael, th reasons to celebrate a community of friends, happy announcements regarding relationships or children. Peace. Release the past. There is more enriching future coming. Let go and let God. Now, two of Gabriel make bold and ambitious choices. Great progress is possible. Important relationships with people who share your visions. And lastly, this is the card that actually, uh, you know, fell out. So uh, let's just include this. Five of Michael. This situation doesn't, doesn't serve you. Release your attachment to the outcome. Consider taking a more uplifting approach. Okay. So anyway, that's it for you for this year, Cancer. And if you want to have your own personal annual forecast, go and visit me at my website at sophieangel.net. You may talk to me live on the phone or live video calls or offer pre-recorded video readings. I won't be available during, um, well, on November 4th until December 27th, okay? Because I'm going on a past life regression healing session. All right. Blessings to you.